I'm good. Recording. Fuck you, Craigbot. The internet is healing, folks! This week has been a week of internet history not to be forgotten. Have you heard the news? Have you two heard the history that was made this past week on YouTube.com? Uh, nope. Uh, no. Guys, it is, it, is with, uh, it is with glee that I inform you both the first breaking news, although you probably already heard of this and you might just not be thinking about it. Smosh is back! Oh, true. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. But yeah, Anthony, that. Anthony Padilla has returned to Smosh. Him and Ian own the company again now. It, the internet is healing. We are moving towards the good timeline, folks. We are back. Who the fuck is Smosh? Mo, you fucking boomer. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You've I never mean, heard of this Smosh? This is boomer news as well. Boomer News. Yeah, Smosh was like one of the first channels on YouTube ever. Yeah, like fucking 2006 YouTube. I bet their first video is going to suck hard. Everyone's going to be like, I can't believe I watched this. I was looking their, forward Their to first this. video was them like lip... Oh, their first new video, you might mean. Yeah, new video, video, new video. Their first video was them lip syncing the fucking Pokemon theme song, I think, in 2005. Wait, there's words to the Pokemon theme song? What the hell are you talking about? What? Now? <laughs> okay, I guess I don't remember. I thought it was like a I want to be the very oh, best. Yeah, 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 I'm thinking about that one. Uh, God, I fucking hate Pokemon, and I hate you, Riley. You fucking son of a bitch. But yeah, Smosh is back. The world is healing. I am so happy about this. I, I the, the Smosh has re-entered my life. I have opened my arms Good. with open arms. Um, that's yeah. wait, hold on, you, 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 hold that on, you, really you opened your said. arms with open arms. Do Listen, what Mo, now? I'm a little baked too. Don't Are you Goro? Are you? Do you have four <laughs> arms? Is this Mortal yeah, Kombat? Just, just, just as Maddox has always dreamed, I have become Goro. Destroyer, Mortal Kombat. Do 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 do. Anyway, I'll no, but this up is uh, this is very exciting. And what I also realized out of this, this might be a hot take to the internet at large. A hot, a Riley um, hot steak. So this came up, and I got back into Smosh. And as it turns out, their second channel has been good for a while. Like I've true. kind of been binging yeah, their second true. channel. <laughs> it's it's the, the Anthony coming back is what drew me back in. But there seems to be a wealth of good content even previous to that. Um, and I'm glad that the Ian and Anthony sketches are back at, on the main channel. Um, and uh, Smosh Pit and Smosh Games too. Uh, I watched too. Um, also, good channels already. So I think Smosh is ready to be a dynasty again. I think. All right. So I remember them. Like, okay. So I know exactly what you're talking about about Smosh and all that. I just wanted to fuck with you. Um, I know that they bought it from. <laughs> Thank Rhett God. And- yeah, I know that they bought it from Rhett and Link, and I really, really, really like Rhett and Link. I, I love Good Mythical Morning and Good Mythical Kitchen and that whole fucking shebang. It's like legit probably my second or maybe even first, uh, well, no, second or third, like, YouTube channel. That's a channel, you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. That has nothing to do with like shit talking or shit talking people or politics or anything. Like, if I'm looking, if I'm talking about like a, a, a network of content, that definitely is like the top five YouTube videos, uh, YouTube channels. That's fair. Rhett and Link are pretty good, mm-hmm. and they are they are legends. Uh, they were they were very cooperative in this. Uh, there was a story was told, and I think. Uh, Anthony's new video um, that where he like interviewed and talked to Ian for an hour. Um, I spent a day with Ian Hecox. I recommend that video wholeheartedly, by the way. Uh, that video is extremely good, and it has a lot of like insight into some of the personal shit that we never heard about, and it's definitely very really interesting and very fascinating to hear. Um, but they talked about Ian having a business meeting with Rhett and Link um, after Anthony approached him about like trying to buy the channel. Um, and Ian, Ian tried to, like, uh, like, like, lead with a good before he went into the weird. Um, so he, was, he, he leads with, hey guys, Anthony wants to come back. And Rhett and Link are like, yeah, that's awesome. And he's, he's just like, but, uh, he, he won't do it unless we own it again. And apparently Rhett and Link were immediately like, dude, like, we're gonna do this. The, don't even worry about the business shit. We'll figure that out. I just want to talk about how awesome this is. <laughs> so, okay. Riley, I don't 
alarm you, but you're kind of sounding like you're a transformer for a second. Oh, oh shit. God. I thought that was my internet. Am I okay now? Well, well, I hear you. You sound good for like a minute, and then I hear... It sounds like you're about to start like talking like Soundwave to Megatron. <laughs> hello? Hello? Oh, you sound so hello. much better now. Okay, good, good, good. Do I need to repeat myself? Did you not... Starscream inferior... Nigga with sound wave superior. Uh, um, I'm cutting out, aren't I? <laughs> no, no, no. You no, sound no, fine. You sound fine. Mo was okay, just doing okay. Mo things. Yes, I was I, doing Mo I things. You. Thank you, Robin. That's that's actually like very correct. But yeah, so Rhett and Link were absolute legends uh, in this situation, and it's it's really exciting, and it's really it's really a win uh, for I think YouTube at large that uh, now Ian and Anthony have control of their own company again. Um, and they're going to make videos how they want to make them, and it's good, and it's good that creators are getting back to owning their own shit. Go Smosh! Fuck yes! I'm so excited, unironically. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and start the show. A one, a two, a skiddly diddly. Riley, your robot voice has come back, kind of. What? He wasn't even talking. (laughs) No, I was trying to get him... To react because, like, I did hear his rope. Never mind. God damn it. <laughs> hey, everyone. What's up? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. And uh, joining me today to, you know, revel in this uh, walking calamity of an existence of mine, uh, you know, I have uh, two uh, very special co-hosts. Say hey, what's up to yeah. Riley. What's going on? Of course, my neighbors are mowing their fucking lawn right now at 8 p.m. Hey, everybody. Oh, it's 7 right. o'clock here. Uh, and uh, also joining us today is uh, Robin. Say what's up, Robin. Hello. Robin. All right. Well, hello. No, no, you don't have to respond. I'm just saying. It was, never mind. I was just be doing mo things. <laughs> God damn it. At the moment, yeah. Uh, this ooh, is going to be like this moment. all fucking podcast. I feel it now. I'm going to get just like tripped <laughs> you said up. said it in a way that was like, oh, you, you can't be heard. Oh. Oh, hey, all right. Hey, anyway, anyway, anyway. Hi, uh, yeah. Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity, and all that stuff. Why, and, why are you uh, so sad today, Mo Diggity? <laughs> no, I'm not sad. Oh, I'm not sad. It's just submarines, and you know, like things going wash go. Are, are, are you just? A, are you upset that we we have an obligation as a podcast on the internet to talk about it? Is that why you're upset? Because, well, honestly, frankly, I'm tired of hearing about this fucking submarine. Well, yes, yes. I, I feel like maybe I just need to like mention this just for a second because it did, it did give me pause to think about this terrifying fact. We barely put like a, a very little. We barely put money like on a federal level uh, to exploring the ocean, and when stupid fucking shit happens, like the stupid ass. Uh, submarine event with that dipshit billionaire ceo that that ignored all the warnings and shit after that happened this is probably going to like this is sort of a black eye for deep sea exploration and i really want to explore the fucking ocean and and i'm so sick to death uh, yeah i'm just gonna go oh yeah yeah <laughs> Robin, go uh, ahead let me go, let me go ahead and just jump in there real quick and i'll, I'll see what i can do you know, like I, I think I'll be able to navigate the the trenches and the crabs and the monsters that lurk below. I wonder if anyone's ever tried to just chill in sort of an area like a like a fucking lockbox or something uh, underwater for like twenty four hours just to see if they can do that. Sounds like a David Blaine thing. Sounds like a fucking thing uh, full of nightmares. Because, like, it, it's sort of an abyss, isn't it? Like, the abyss can go on for a while, but, like, the shadows and everything that's sort of, like, in there, it, it's got to be, like, sort of a mind fuck, right? Because you're not as aware as you think when you're in a situation like that. 
and anything can like quickly come up from behind you and fucking bite your cage and make you shit your pants. I don't know. I, I think about d- a deep sea exploration a lot. And I, I well, okay, basically, I'm just going to cut to the chase here. I want rapture. Okay, that that's that's what I want. There's Jesus a YouTuber. Christ. The yeah, there's there's a, a YouTuber. I think his I think his name is Hampshire, and he's trying to do this experiment with uh, uh, hamsters. And uh, it, it's it's been such a cool fucking thing to like watch his progress from like years ago when he first appeared on the Dick Show. Because I still follow him to this day. And he, he has little po- uh, progress reports and his experimentation and everything. It's, it's been a fucking blast. Uh, really just watching his growth a- as a channel and like with his experimentation as well. It's been so fucking cool. But yeah, I, I, I fucking want Rapture, okay? I, I want to go have my casino city under the sea. Under the sea. Here it is better. Down oh, when you with said you, sweater, when you, said you wanted Rapture, me. for some reason I really thought you were completely separated from the ocean topic and you were just saying you wanted an apocalypse to occur. Yeah, I was like, what the it's fuck? The oh, 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 no, 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 no. God, no. I, I don't want the apocalypse to happen. I want to live underwater. Mo Diggity, I, th- listen, I, I think uh, I, I wish I had a Mo versus Mo uh, bumper here because I'm pretty sure like one of your I think during quick fix month you said that like being hit by a meteor would be a quick fix because you want everyone to die <laughs> no I, I, I we're having I, like a Kathy no. moment here like we turn to God <laughs> no 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 I, I, I don't want religious stuff to happen I want to build cities underwater that's what I want okay. and you know I want Bioshock you know Rapture right okay yeah, y'all have played Bioshock before, right? No. Yeah, well, when someone says Rapture, that's not the first thing oh. I think of. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, like, Bioshock is and, and Rapture and Andrew Ryan, I mean, these people are, like, ingrained in pop culture and video games. So I thought you guys would just get the reference. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not going to turn to a Southern Baptist or anything. I don't want, <laughs> yeah. I don't want the Lord to come down and smite all the heretics. You know, I, uh, I, I don't uh, want that. I, I want like a city under the fucking sea. Or okay, uh, Atlantis. I, there I would you like go. Atlantis. There you Atlantis go. would be cooler. Wait, did you but say Rapture Bioshock or did you say Fallout? Bioshock. Yeah, the, the city. Bioshock. Bioshock. Okay. Yeah, I've only yeah. played Infinite. Uh, honestly, it's a little bit uh, handholdy. Uh, the boss. Riley, I will hey. fucking slap the shit out of you <laughs> every fucking time, forever and ever, for an hour and a half. Shut up. I really like Infinite. I own, okay. I own Bioshock 1, and I have not played it even a little bit. Infinite, uh, Infinite's good. It's just, uh, it's boring. And there's, like, not, a, it'll, like, it's it's kind of, like, boring. It's good. Bullshit. It's just boring. Well, no, it's, well, like, it, it, it fucking sucks because, like, you, you try to say good things about the game, and there's a lot of really, really great things about the game. Real quick, Mo Diggity, but real the, quick. I'm hold, sorry hold to on. interrupt you. I'm sorry. This is God really important. damn it. All this right, is yes. extremely important to say I, right I know. now. I know. Kathy, I know. Kathy, if Hello, you do Kathy. not have your headphones on you, leave the call. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I have them. Okay, put them on. I, I also want to say Bioshock Infinite was a bit too handholdy. <laughs> God damn it. True. I the boss fights were a bit too easy. Okay, and... you know what? I, I uh, fuck all you fake ass bitches. <laughs> okay, I actually do. Even though this is a fucking stupid meme, I actually do unironically kind of do think that a little bit of the game. It is a little bit too easy. It is a little bit too handholdy. The bosses are easy as fuck. It's just you know repetitive. <laughs> I hate you all so much. Every single fucking one of you. It's just fucking. I love you too, Mo. Oh, bear you in a. Just uh, just got a severe tornado warning. Not severe tornado. Severe weather. You have a severe weather warning. Yeah. Those are always fun. Hell yeah! <laughs> Epic. Man, my internet's been shitty lately. I've been trying to fucking just stream Diablo Four. I was trying to watch fucking. Blacklist last night. I saw you. Uh, I saw playing. you baby bitching about like Diablo Four DDoS attacks on Twitter. Oh, like, oh we I'm really need an online mode because I can't bo- go five no, minutes yeah, without because- playing Diablo Four. Fuck you. 
fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, you know what? Oh, fuck you. Is that you. why you messaged I... me in the middle of the night, Mo? You, you know, <laughs> yes, I, I, I was also very bored. I was like, God, I need something to fucking do. And yeah, I, I, I did do that. And, you know, I haven't talked to you in a little bit. So, you know, I, I, I miss my pal. You know, so I, I did feel like I did want to talk to you. But still... Fuck you, Riley. Okay, I pre I I did two things that I vowed never to do since actually since Bioshock Infinite. I pre ordered the game, but I did I did this for the very first time. I've never actually done this before. I got the super duper bonus mega edition of the oh game. Oh my fucking god! So Just I, put got more the corporate I got talk the hun- in your cows. I got the hun- fucking mouth. Fuck you! 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 Bitch! I got the fucking ultimate battle pass. Twenty fucking tears skip as soon as the fucking first season drops. Okay, I, so I got a fucking exclusive blizzard. I got is exclusive- in your fucking throat. I got right I now. got an exclusive fucking emote too. I got a little fucking exclusive pre order trophy uh, for my uh, my horse, my mounts. That I couldn't get till Act Four, which really pissed me off because I was really wanting. I was kind of hoping to get my mount in like Act Two or Act Three, but they made my ass wait till Act Fucking Four uh, to get it. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I actually like has been a, been very excited for this game because we only get one every ten fucking years. It's it's been like that since Diablo Two. It's really weird that for the past three minutes, all I've heard from Mozan is just like slurping and you know, uh, sucking noises. Just it's really weird. Uh huh. Fuck you. It's a great <laughs> fucking game too, but you know, always online. I'm sorry. It's just it's it's a good idea, but not really. Oh, I agree with you 100%. I just like, I just thought it was funny that you were like, we need an offline mode because we're getting DDoS yeah. attacked and I yeah, can't play the game. because these fucking p- pieces of shit. Yes, man, because these fucking pieces of shit are not allowing me to feed my fucking addiction. And I fucking demand Diablo 4 in my fucking veins. Like I said, we only get a game every 10 fucking years. I'm going to absorb this. And besides, it, it just came out this month, a few weeks ago. So, yeah. Modi, so, I, I, I'm at least glad you weren't as hardcore as you were uh, planning to be. There was a point where Mo Diggity, like, with with every modicum of seriousness, he might claim he was joking, but no, it, it sounded like he was he was legitimately warning us. There was what? a point where Mo Diggity's like, I'm not going to be on the issue crew for the next month, because I'm going to be too busy playing Diablo 4. Well, luckily I can break that (laughs) promise. Well, okay. Luckily I can break that promise, and do you want to know why I can break that promise, Riley? Why? Because it's always fucking online, that's why! I need a fucking offline mode so I can stick it in my fucking veins, man. I don't see why I can't just, like, I think you could do it also with Diablo 3 and Diablo 2. I can just click a fucking option. No, Diablo 3, I think, actually. Uh, I think you have to switch over to multiplayer mode in 2, which is just fucking bomb. Uh, I fucking love that, but and I'm fine with it. But yeah, in a lot of other games, I can click offline, online, offline, online. I don't think this is a really impossible request. I'm sorry, but... you know. They they shouldn't have worried about piracy too much because the dev studio didn't call anyone racist, homophobic, xenophobic, transphobic. Uh, they didn't badger or otherwise tease or prod or poke the audience, the bear that is the audience. They weren't mean spirited. No one, no no politics. Just the fucking game. Yeah, and people just always do anti piracy shit. Well, yeah, but you know, I don't know. Fucking just. Yeah, you know, uh, you just can't stop piracy anyway. You just you're just gonna have to factor that into your losses, and you know, just do what you can to mitigate those losses. You know, like pop a couple of people that are being arrogant, and you know, like having uh, streams on like a uh, kick or like YouTube. Follow this link for a free copy of Diablo Four. Piracy kind of sucks these days, anyway. Like. 
Well, yeah, like no one really needs to pirate anymore, like because you have streaming services and you have free stream services. So yeah. I can just like I can just look up anything, and I have a good job now, so I don't mind paying for my games and stuff. But well, and it's not so easy now that like it it kind of seems like you know the bay's gone, so kind of everything's on like privately hosted websites that you need like passwords. Wait, is Pirate Bay gone? I mean, there are iterations of it that are still out there, but like it's just. Like, don't download anything from that. That's so fucking sketchy. That's fair. I've I've never used Pirate Bay. It's just a, it's been a fact of life that pa- Pirate, Pirate Bay exists for so long that I was like, is it gone? How could that be? <laughs> personally, yeah. go ahead. I've never personally. I've never pirated anything, and I like a hundred percent cap, one thousand percent cap. Zero percent cap, especially if you're a police officer watching this. Yeah, yeah. If you're a police officer, then it's satire. Uh, in general, it's satire. But in Minecraft, that's in the, Minecraft. those are the magic but, words. Remember. But in I'm Minecraft. pretty sure you have satirically admitted to pirating movies on podcasts. I don't think well, it's you wouldn't download no, it. I car, would you? No, I've no, I haven't. <laughs> Fuck you. I would if I could. I would totally download a car, but that's an awful premise. Because if I could download a car, I would download a car. You probably can these days, right? 3D print. That's fair. If you had a big enough 3D printer, yeah, I guess. God, I love 3D printing. I, I hypothetically, if I did ever pirate things, uh, hypothetically, I would stop it. Well, you better, you better have a way to watch the Prince of Egypt. <laughs> damn it! I do. Good, 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 and a way to watch the Dark Crystal. I think that's on a free streaming service, actually. I think it was on. Wait, when when are, when are we watching those movies? Uh, Prince of Egypt will be this Thursday, and then Dark Crystal two weeks from that day. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just remind me, because I will get high, and I will forget. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll remind you on, like, Wednesday. Yeah, it's so refreshing that these days I can finally just admit that openly. It's like, I will get baked, and I will forget shit. Awesome. You know? awesome. It's not, it's not as, as you, you see it as like an absolute defense, whereas it's still annoying when you do it. Like anytime I like call you out for forgetting something, your defense is always, how long ago was it that I told you that? Like, yes, Mo. Yeah, because I forget shit. You probably (laughs) should have remembered. Well, oops. Speaking of being, um, speaking of being, uh, high, I may or may not be high the next time. I mean, on Wednesday. Wednesday, no, when Tuesday, Tuesday, when I come on the stream. Wait, what stream on Tuesday? I'm Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. No. <laughs> you go on through the whole week. <laughs> yeah, one of the on, days of the week, probably. On Thursday, I may or may not be high because I may or may not have um, my wisdom teeth removed. Mmm, fun. Tomorrow. Yeah, make sure you take all those pills at once. Um. Yeah. I feel I, like that's probably not wise. <laughs> yeah, but apparently the the doctor that was going to remove my wisdom teeth, or at least may have removed my wisdom teeth, uh, he was actually, uh, he had his medical license removed. Um, <laughs> okay, well, wait a minute, hold on, okay. O- old Uncle yeah. Mo has to, like, jump in here for a second, give you some sagely wisdom, okay? Kathy? Go to a real dentist. No, no, no. Apparently, he no, got go his to... medical. He apparently he got his medical license back because it was six years ago. But, he, but I like I really. If it's going to be him, I'm going to jump jump the boat because I'm not getting it from like apparently he was fired for using drugs. Okay, yeah, Kathy. If you're not, all right, the, the, where are you supposed to oh, drug on, use? And he got his license back. Who gives a shit? It'd be one thing I if do. he was fired for like stabbing a scalpel into somebody's gun. No, this is I super just... important because what if he's high during the fucking procedure? Yeah, exactly. he got his medical license back. So obviously, he yeah, passed the drug you test. Can, yeah, you could fake passing a fucking drug test, Riley. It's not fucking hard anymore. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Kathy, buddy. You know, yeah, no. uh, my, my main, my main, my main, whoa, man, you know, let me fucking tell you something. If you're not in an office, if you're in like the back of a car or like an apartment or something, it is an office through though. the hills. 
He has I mean, a medical license back. He's at a real dentist. He just happened uh, to have lost his license for drug use a while. Long okay, time so ago. it's it, it's an office that has an address on it, right? I mean, yeah, it's a warehouse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, no, genuinely, it is like. Is it the rip and tear dentistry dental program? No, no, no. It's like. It's not really like a shanty shack, but they just kind of like bought an apartment. <laughs> oh and yeah, dude, dude, there's just all sorts of sketchy like <laughs> red flags, dude. You're going to get your fucking organs harvested, okay? I mean, just it ask technically for, like, is extra, a registered like, dentistry. Okay, okay here's here's another I'm question. Sure you get a big prescription from this guy. Here's here here's a uh, question, and this isn't going where you think it's going. Does he have an accent? No. Jesus, Whoa. Mo, what Whoa. the fuck? Whoa. Because if he had a Russian Whoa. accent, I was going to say, run to the fucking hills. No, no, no. Because okay. has... that's an organ harvester right there. He has, like, a southern accent, kind of. They're gonna, Yeah, they're going to harvest uh, your teeth. You could get human trafficked or sold into some sort of, like, meth lab slavery. You might be going south o to border if okay. you uh, go there. Okay, my grandparents are going to be there, so... Yeah, they can they can get taken down by fucking cartel members fucking easy. Are they fucking ninjas? Do you have protection? Okay, this guy isn't, like, Hispanic. He's, like, literally, like, an American. Okay, all right, all right. He doesn't have any Aryan tattoos or anything like that. This isn't a Breaking Bad se a series ender sort of situation, right? No, he's not, like, I don't think he's a Nazi. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just covering all my bases here, okay? So you want to talk about some more? Uh, <laughs> fuck. You want to <laughs> uh, fuck? I'm choking here. I'm looking at this uh, while you two were talking about like Mike stuff. I was looking at Final Fantasy memes, and it's a picture of Vivi, the black mage, and it just says, "What's the problem? Anxiety, low self esteem, obsessive thoughts of random arson." I've been there. I was like, "Yeah, I can identify all been with there. this." I expected the Final Fantasy part of the uh, the podcast team to be more into this. That's why I even brought it up. But you know, I hope by, I hope by that you mean just Robin, because I don't know the <laughs> where you got that. I'm part of the Final Fantasy team. Well, That's what yet. I was alluding to. I hate Black Mage. Just fuck Black Mage. What did, I, I, what I like did you Black just Mage say? Black Mage was in the was in Super Smash Bros. too, and I like him. No, Black Mage is gonna kiss my ass. Rude. My character is a black mage or wants to be a black mage. Bless you. Well, I, I, I might you know, know. directly in your microphone. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I forgive you, Kathy. Yeah, black mages just stand still and then get hit by everything. Well, like, from <laughs> wow. what I've understood, like, they have the little uh, area, the little AOE. Their ley lines. Their ley lines. There you go. They have the ley. <laughs> because I've been watching, like, videos about my black mage because. I'm prepping for my Final Fantasy 14 fucking month long streams here, which I'm really, really looking forward to because I am feeling the need for a Diablo 4 break because uh, I've been playing it all month. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. But it doesn't seem like overly complicated. What, Black Mage or 14 in general? Huh? Like. 14 in general, or, or Black Mage? Oh, no, well, no, like, uh, uh, some of the stuff, uh, uh, like, the basics of Black Mage doesn't seem too uh, overly complicated. I think it's the hardest job, kind of. Well, a lot of people say that, but, like, I think that people just quit too much. But I'm thinking, like, by the time I finally get to where I need to lay down ley lines and shit, I'll, I'll end up understanding the gist of everything. I'll be able to go from there. That's what I'm looking forward to. I will probably never play Final Fantasy fourteen. Play Final Fantasy fourteen. You can get it for you can try to play listen. for free till level sixty. I'm vaguely <laughs> wiki, I'm wiki. vaguely interested in it. However, I do not put nearly the amount of time needed into video games to make it a worthwhile endeavor. And you know, I'm an honest man who sets realistic expectations. Uh Probably about a, let's say, a 7% chance that I'd play Final Fantasy fourteen at some point. Free trial now goes up to level 60 with the critically acclaimed expansion, Heavensward. Wow. Yeah. Now it's 8%. <laughs> Use a bitch. I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big bitch. I'm the biggest bitch. I'm the biggest bitch in the universe, even, I think. 
<sighs> Anywho. Great show, guys. We're really keeping the energy up today. The synergy off the charts. We're really hey, hey, you can bring some shit up anytime you want to as well. This is your what show. What is this also, podcast called, Mo? <laughs> the Mo Cast with my co hosts. Every time I ask the issue crew to help me think of shit, they're like, it's your show. It's your show, Mo. <laughs> think of shit. Well, no, that's because you fuck. All right, this motherfucker right here will be all like, hey, guys, he'll come in high as shit and then fucking forget half the shit that he's supposed to talk about or falls the fuck asleep. And so, and then like half the people don't even show up. And then they don't even talk about the fucking topics they're supposed to talk about. And then, you know, and then you pull some bullshit with one of them. And I'm just sitting there eating my popcorn, enjoying the fucking fight. <laughs> and you just fucking fuck with them. It's great. I don't know anyone here who's fallen asleep. No, yeah, Riley's no, fell asleep twice. Or shown up too high. I've, that's never happened either. No. It's funny because we're making fun of you, Mo. <laughs> I never fell asleep. During I don't think Mo's ever fallen asleep on air. I don't think this happens. That's true. Yeah, definitely too high. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I've been like high as shit, like irresponsibly stupid high, uh, before when I was supposed to come on this show, and I was like, you know, I I, I should have just like not been so high because maybe the show wouldn't have sucked so bad. But you know, I did, <laughs> and it's too late to fucking you know get pissed about it now. Because it's just how it is. Well, you just got to keep getting higher at that point. <laughs> you hey, reach for the stars. No. Well, yeah, you just bring it to a comedy level, you know? Where you're like, oh, I got way too high. All right, let's get really, really high. Yeah, but if I get really, really high, I'm going to fucking just have a freak out. And what then, you know. Just, I mean, what, what if he just, like, don't get high? No, oh, I, 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 no. I've been perfectly sober for like a lot of my, well, a lot of the episodes. I'm not just like super big like all the time, just sometimes. I think Riley like is all the time. It's, it's, it's not like that anymore for me though. I'm doing pretty good. I think that my problem is I'm distracted, and I, I need to just like not fucking be so distracted right now because I'm just scrolling mindlessly on Twitter and yeah, I don't even up, know why. Follow through. Follow through. Follow through. There was, a to, there was a weird study that I saw earlier today, and I was trying to find it, but apparently a good portion of anime fans want to become this uh, anime-inspired fucking little plush toy. It's not quite like a bean, you know, like a, a bean plush. They want to turn into this? Yeah, they, they want to the be it's like a super <laughs> Oh, fuck, this is going to bother me if I can't find it. I swear to God, I, I fucking retweeted it earlier. I've got to find it. But yeah, these people, uh, these people, uh, want to become this fucking, like, little, like, plushy toy thing. And it's just driving me fucking a insane. Bean. It's like, really? Like a, a Makima bean, like from a Chainsaw Man. Holy shit. <laughs> I think I'm having a stroke, guys. Okay. Okay, I, I'm not having a stroke. Why are you all laughing? It's it's not that funny. I, I, mean, I, just, I don't understand. What do you mean? It is really funny. No, they they want to turn into like a plushie. Like they they there's like a. <laughs> it's, 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 you keep leaving out the I, bean I, okay. part. That okay. is the funny part. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It might be some like. Okay, so it makes sense to me because I, I read it Holy about like shit. an hour and a half ago, but now I can't fucking find it. <laughs> the most I've ever laughed on the Bocast. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> He's not gonna find the source either. We're just gonna be no. left confused. At what the no, fuck no, 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 no. You're you're not you're not because I'm stop I'm I'm, I'm stopping looking for it and, uh, to look. Uh, I'm not looking for it anymore. I don't know how to. So we're not gonna find the bean. Well, no, it's not the bean. It's like a little plush fucking toy. It's fucking weird. I wish I can find the the user who fucking said it, but now I can't fucking find them. And now it's just going to drive me absolutely nuts. And I know what's going to happen is I'm going to find it immediately after this fucking podcast is done. 
Because that's just going to aggravate the shit out of me. But yeah, they uh, it, it was just some weird... It, it might have been from like some fucking culture warrior moron. It might have even been like complete total bullshit. But the article looked real enough, I guess. But I have been like fucking baked like all day playing Dia- trying to play Diablo 4 also. And just Wanting enjoy my day off. Okay, so to clarify... <laughs> The the <laughs> there's nothing to clarify. <laughs> Here we go. You don't have to. You don't have to clarify anything. You just fucking take my word. <laughs> the that's what happens. To clarify, I think. Is what I don't know what, how the fuck I was. You know, since I'm not supposed to bring in articles and all that shit, we're doing hashtag free form content all day every day. You can bring in articles. That's you yelled at me that one time. I brought wanted to bring in an article. You screamed. No, at you, me. Can, you, can, you can bring that, in an article. It just isn't the topic. It's just one thing that you brought in. I remember you yelling at me. You, you said, I, you, I don't remember you, said you, you wanted to do some. Uh, you you do had that. some article, and you wanted to make that the topic. And I said, "No, we don't have topics anymore. It's a formless cast." That doesn't mean you can't bring in articles. It just means they can't be the one central topic that we're forced to stick to. <laughs> well, bring in all the articles you want, Mo Diggity. Well, look at you with the perfect memory and the the best recall ever in the world. You know, because I don't remember that. I remember getting yelled at. That's that's what I got. I remember. But I wish I could find this fucking person because now I cannot find them at all. So, so, just, no, no. At what, least, oh, I'm establishing your memories going. You know? I just wanted to clarify something like beyond the clarification of what the fuck are you talking about? Because I don't think we're getting that today. I just want to make sure I heard correctly that it's a bean plushie. So it's like. An anime plushie that's like bean. That is shaped. a bean, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, or is it bean size? Well, it, it's like a, it, it's like an oblong sort of a fucking bean plushie mm. thingy. I, I don't, I don't know. know. Well, I don't know what the fuck it. Hold on, maybe maybe what, whatever, whatever the first like Google image result, whatever the first Google <laughs> image result for anime bean plushie is, is gonna is gonna be the thumbnail for this episode with Mo Diggity's icon over it. And I wonder if it'll be what he's talking about or if it'll be completely unrelated. Okay, all right, fuck you, shut the fuck up. I found what I'm talking about. Oh okay, my God. let's see it. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> oh my God, I think maybe. <laughs> yeah. Almost <laughs> what I'm talking about. Okay. Essentially, this is what I saw today. Like, this is what I'm talking about. There was some article that said it's in the general, by the way. I posted in the general. Oh, yeah, there no, was some okay. article that, that said sense. that that uh fucking some anime fans wanted to just turn it into beans, and it had something to do with like VR and, and stuff. I it looked at a very passing glance at it and i didn't really look at it too much but that's that's what i saw bean moments okay bean moment. yeah this is great for a visual bean medium. moment the, oh do, do, don't worry robin this is gonna be the thumbnail of the episode four of them are gonna have all of our like pictures over them but the other two will be fully viewable <laughs> so who are you leaving in uh which ones what are your two favorite ones that you want to keep no, you, well, you tell me and uh, actually like refer to them by name if you would. <laughs> I don't know who any of these characters are. <laughs> Not even a single one. Do you know what it's from? No. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part Five. Oh, I, I yeah, I'm not a JoJo's person. I mean, I guess I don't know the significance of these characters. I was just gonna do like the the plus sign that is formed in the center, and then leave those two at the left and right on the bottom. Okay, that worked. Okay. This. This is actually a much, much better picture that sort of accurately depicts what I'm talking about, kind of specifically. <laughs> it, it's, it's the poor yeah. horseman. It's the poor uh, okay, there we go. This Chains- is the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail. It, We're from the- it's, the, it's the four horsemen from Chainsaw Man. I'm super, super into Chainsaw Man. Like, I'm reading the manga videos and, and Why like, I'm it? super into the show and all that. But Why is it, it Weezer? No, it's Weezo. <laughs> Because that's like fucking douchebag, fucking millennial, and Zoomer fucking ba- Zoomers bagging on Weezer fans. Because apparently Weezo sucks and is lame and is stupid. This is, the, this is the thumbnail, and Kathy's icon doesn't get to be featured because I have to leave one of these unobscured. 
put Kathy in there. There's four of us and four of them. Yeah, but yeah. then we don't get to see any of the bean faces. Yeah, so but what? Who cares? That's okay. Uh, but then yeah, nobody that... gets to see the. Fuck you! I'm using the other picture. Fuck this Weezo shit. No, I I thought no. I want the fucking Weezo fucking for the thumbnail. That's perfect. Fine, fine. Because there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them and four of us. There's four, and that's perfectly what I'm but talking Mo, about. But Mo, the whole point is we want to be able Mo, to see the face of the Bean anime figure. So we want well, one of them to be unobscured. Oh, no, okay, that's really, really fucking retarded. I I don't want Why? that. No. Because we, I want this fucking want thumbnail. We want people to see what Shut the talking fuck up. about. Okay, the motherfuckers <laughs> at home, the sorry <laughs> bastards that never fucking comment or thumbs up or shit, their asses can fucking Google fucking Weezo Anime Bean uh, well, plush. Well, anything Editor Riley, right. just <laughs> pop a picture on the screen right now. And you, you know he's not gonna do that. You know he's not gonna fucking do that. Take a look, you can see it right now. It requires like 10 seconds of effort. You know he's not gonna fucking do that. Modi, I don't even know how to make a video. How I make the video version is I put the MP3 <laughs> in an MP3 to MP4 converter. <laughs> Men will literally argue about anything. I just... The whole point of putting the beans in the thumbnail is so people know what the beans look like. Well, they, they can just Google them. It would be funnier if they did that. Besides, no one's going to really know what they're t uh, talking about. I mean, they'll know what they're talking. Oh, okay, uh, you know, we're just going to stop arguing about fucking thumbnail bullshit. You know, you know what? I, th I, I think I think the second one to the left kind of looks like Robin, so maybe we could just leave that one and pretend it's Robin. <laughs> oh my god, just put all four of them in there. It's funnier that way. Actually, hold on. You're the, the boss. Second, Thank you. The second one to the left looks like. Ro what are you talking about? I was I was kind of just coping to see if I could get Mo to backhandedly agree to leaving one of them in there. By it's the way. Just, uh, by the way, if you want to talk about somebody looking like someone, the second one to the right, like, literally just looks like me. Like, the fucking eye swoop and all. I don't even know what this is from. What is this? That, does, chainsaw, kinda, that does kinda, it has, like, the same, like, hair swoosh, yeah. But I'll, but I'll put all four icons in there, because Mo's the one who gives yeah. me 20 bucks for this shit, so at the end of the day, yeah. I do well, what he says. You yeah, pay him for good. this? <laughs> well, yeah, of course, you should I always pay your editors. Hmm. But I'll do it for fifteen. Shut the fuck up, Kathy. Oh. Pay me a hundred dollars. I'll learn to edit. <laughs> <laughs> but you uh, know it'll be better because Robin gives a shit. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, if people give me money for stuff, I put effort into it. <laughs> I I do put a, like I I do put like an. Uh, autistic amount of effort into the bocast when compared to other shows that I edit because I do I do feel an obligation because I get paid for it so unlike every other show where I kind of just let it fly because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day I don't think it really takes away from the listening experience uh, but I do actually comb through the mocast looking for little waveforms that might be noises and making sure they're noises and then cutting them out <laughs> I do I do spend a lot of time painstakingly doing that um, for the MoCast in particular. Well, yeah, just in case you just cut me out completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to verify that the, the little tiny moment. thing isn't just Robin. <laughs> yeah. Now, sometimes all I right. just get, like, paid for shit, and I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna put, like, a billion times more effort into it. Yeah, and that's the magic of capitalism, right? I I am, like, 1,000 times more motivated to do the MoCast and make the MoCast a good product because I am obtaining some small amount of income for it. That's you're the magic. A, you're not even a capitalist, retard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Wait, I, thought you I were live a in a capitalist... No, no, I'm definitely a socialist, but, but I Ew. currently live in a capitalistic society You're from, which I, from which I have to benefit from in order to continue living. You so, criticize society, yet you participate? Exactly, I know. I'm, I'm such a hypocrite. Uh, but, yeah, you know, uh, capitalism, for all of its flaws, it does work to its ba most basic degree, which is, yes, I do want to do a thing more because I well, get Well, and then you put no effort it. into the issue crew because you own it, therefore you yeah, don't get Yeah, I own it, it, therefore I don't have to pay anybody to do anything with it, um, and I don't, uh, I don't get paid for it, uh, yeah. so... Why don't you start, like... Why don't you make the issue crew, like, a, a paid subscription service? 
<laughs> the issue crew plus. Yeah, yeah nine ninety nine <laughs> a month to get you all the issue crew stuff. I mean, un like completely unironically, like I might. I mean, the the logistics <laughs> of splitting a Patreon six ways are a little bit are a little bit murky. Uh, but like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Well, you don't pay those people. That's that's fair. It's just, it's all for me, guys. Uh, no, but uh, I would definitely be open to at some point trying to form some sort of financial donation option for the issue crew in which we make like bonus episodes or something. Uh, but that that's a logistical nightmare that I'm probably not going to deal with anytime soon. I, Neither do I that. think it more than one person maybe would buy into it. Don't worry, Riley. I I can make a few bonus episodes. Oh, just by yourself. <laughs> yeah, that that that's like a good idea. <laughs> the Kathy solo hour is our our Patreon content. It's literally just me like fucking ranting about conspiracy theories for like 45 minutes. That's okay. Great... So, I I I all, all found... the shit you can't say on YouTube where you get banned. You say it on yeah. Patreon instead. Yeah, that's where you're going to get my real opinions. Kathy uncensored. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I found the uh quote unquote picture slash article slash headline. I was looking at and and you know, rereading it now, it does sound extremely far fetched because it does have an extravagant number of eighty six so eighty six percent of young Americans. You don't wait, you think this is real? No, I I fucking like half ass read it. I was like, oh that's fucking stupid. And I thought it was just some <laughs> culture war bullshit, so I ignored it. <laughs> and then I got high, and I was like, oh, I remember. Yeah, uh, so, you know, you can talk about how, like, anime is ruining society. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, 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 anime is not ruining society. They're called Fumos. They're called Fumos. I also don't well, see the board being anywhere, yeah. Congratulations, folks. The title of this episode is Fumo, but with an E at the end. Yeah. We did it. Congratulations. The Fumo cast. <laughs> Wait. Wh- oh, a- 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 E, Mo, R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what's the title going to be? It's just Fumo, but it has an E at the end because it's Mo. Ah, uh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, but the Weezo, the, the, the Weezo thumbnail is going to be the thumbnail. I, I fucking love the shit out of that picture. In fact, I'm going to save it. No, the, the yeah. yeah, the Weezo without any of the comedic value because we can't tell that it's Fumos. It's just us. Yeah, well, yes. they'll listen to the fucking podcast and then they'll fucking get it then. Well, hold on, hold if, on. They, if they don't listen to the podcast, then the hell with them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not the hell with you. I'm Who just kidding. That was time to listen to podcasts. Liberal, right? like, liberal slender doing? hands. Okay, I, I, I make the money. Liberal either way. slender so. hands. I said surrender hands, not I slender heard hands. slender. <laughs> yeah, I thought you said liberal slender man. I, I definitely said liberal surrender hands, but you can interpret it however you Library want. Library slender man? What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about, dude? I don't know. I've gone crazy. Nonstick potato pan. People want to become beans? Uh, yeah, I think I'm just like losing it. I might just be losing it just a little bit, or this shit is like a lot better than I thought. Um, but yeah, goddamn! I can't believe we got so much okay. unbridled comedic value out of this really stupid fake CBS <laughs> news headline. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I, I, I was just like was half ass. <laughs> well, like I said, I was half ass reading. I was like, eh, there you go. But here's the real question: Does milk go? Before the cereal or after you pour the cereal? Right after the, the cereal. After, after, after yeah. the cereal. After? Okay. Because it's been like bothering the shit out of me. There are people what do who you pour do? the milk. Oh, I fucking pour the milk after the cereal. Like a okay, fucking yeah. normal. Like a Hold gentleman. On. Like no, no, a no, gentleman. No, no. That's Hold what on. I do. I got a new thumbnail for you guys. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's it gonna be? Let's see it. Let's see like, what, Kathy, like uh, what, what great audio content we're about to have, folks. If you look <laughs> at this image, Kathy's about to send. Well, it's fine. Our editor will actually pop it up on the screen right now. Robin, I am. I don't know how to video edit at all. <laughs> how do you not know how to video edit? Do you just go download Shotcut? Just change and... the picture. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, just learn shortcut. It's easy. I can. I know shortcut too. I can walk you through how to insert an image. It's it's download fucking, easy. fucking download fucking if I have to learn movie. To, if I have to learn how to use more software, that's going to cost you an additional five dollars a week, Mo. I just bitch. No, <laughs> no, it's not. You should know how to fucking video edit. So, you can't call it. You gotta be. Uh, God damn it! What is this, K- Kathy? God damn it! So I want you to guess. Done. I want you to guess what this is. Is uh, Dracula? So Kathy, Kathy has sent a Fumo Doctor figure. Strange. I want you to guess who it is. I Doctor Strange. It looks like it's Doctor Strange. What is this? Ben <laughs> Shapiro? No! No, oh that is god. not Ben Shapiro. Oh as my a god! Oh no! <laughs> That's true, he is too hot for Ben of the Cumberbatch. Uh, Jesus god. Did you just say Ben us. Shapiro was hot? Hell yeah, you, never, you ever seen his gun shows? Oh my goodness. I would fuck Jen, Jen Shapiro. That's not a person. I would fuck Ben Shapiro. See, why are you always insisting on saying the wrong answer, Riley? It's Abigail <laughs> Shapiro. Yeah, That's Abby as well. well. Both of them. Yeah. I would yeah. not have. I would not have sex with one of them. It's would, Abigail because you wouldn't. I would, have sex yeah, with I, I would get it. Plow the shit out of fucking Abigail Shapiro. That would be fucking great. Well, I mean, they're like they look exactly the same. Like just so, one. Somebody, yeah, as long as she's not talking, as long as she doesn't uh, say. As long as she doesn't start talking about like conservative politics and facts, dude, 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 dude. feelings, dude, no, dude. I, somebody you know, needs to plow the shit out of Mo. Ben Shapiro's wife. She needs it. She's Mo. she's having some troubles. Oh yeah, that's oh, that you know, yeah. Mo, that you know Abigail Shapiro is sixteen, right? That's no, not. She's true. fucking not. That's a, that is not true. She's like in her. But believe 30s. me, believe me, Kathy. Me and Mo Diggity are both acutely aware of how Abigail Shapiro is not underage. We've both checked. Okay, we know. Well, well no, I, I mean, I, I didn't. I didn't check. She just looks over. She it, looks. Yes, 30. you did, Mo. You, we both checked. We no, all checked. No, we did not. I'm not. I'm not so paranoid about that that I need to check ID at the fucking door. You look like you're over 30, you know, I, I think you're good to go. I mean, honestly, like, I just said that to try to get a reaction out of you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I know that. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> they're, they're not, there does not exist a straight man on this planet who is not aware that Abigail Shapiro is overage. Acutely aware. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get to my note here because I wanted to talk. Oh, about yeah. This. Uh. <laughs> I never actually considered turning everyone down in the mix instead of up. You know, it was like, well, you know, I guess I could just turn everyone down to where they're at their at their level and then just adjust the audio while everyone's on the same level at the same time. So that actually made, like, a lot of sense. And that sort of disappointed me because I've been editing, like, audio since, like, 2017. And that never occurred and to me. And that you. never occurred to me not <laughs> fucking oh, my once. Lord. I mean, it just occurred to me for the first time. I, I, I beat you in the race, but I've been at audio editing for not just as long. I think I, I, think I started editing in, like, 2019. Uh, but still, I've been doing it for a long time. And that was the first time I was like, wait a minute. What if you made everyone quiet? If, if somebody's too quiet, you just make everyone quiet. And then it's the same. And then you can adjust the volume later. It's the audio equivalent of Patrick saying, uh, telling everyone, what if we just take the audio and put it over there? <laughs> put it somewhere else. I thought it was over there. It, it's somewhere else. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, oh, Beans and Patrick. And do you guys know, do you guys know about that fake Spongebob quote that's been being memed lately? You mean the millions? No, of, no I don't know which one you're talking about. So, so, so uh, there's a, there was apparently like a bunch of old people on Facebook were posting this, like, inspirational Spongebob and Patrick exchange that was being played off as a real exchange they had, but mm-hmm. it's definitely not a real exchange they had in the show about, like, trusting each other as friends. Like, some, like, awful, like, cringe Facebook garbage. I think, if I if I remember the quote correctly, it's, it's Spongebob... Uh, Patrick says that he trusts SpongeBob, and SpongeBob asks Patrick, "What? What if I? What if I broke your trust, though?" And then, and then Patrick says, "Trusting you is my decision. Breaking that trust is yours." And that was like spread uh, around on Facebook dude, as like a real Facebook SpongeBob so quote. Weird. And now, and now people are like memeing it ironically, and it's it's, it's amusing. I hate Facebook so fucking much. 
Yeah, same. But like Boomer Facebook kind of funny sometimes. I- I'm gonna be real with you. Like mom tier, like minions memes have circled yeah. back to being hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I-, I hate those so fucking, fucking much. Daffy Duck, like <laughs> it's always like the oh, same yeah, characters like... that are always like random quotes on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make like a Facebook alt where all I post is like really racist minions and like Daffy Duck memes. <laughs> Nothing but. It's just, it's just gonna be a minion. Nothing... It's gonna be like hashtag build the wall hashtag. Oh god! <laughs> the laughing minion memes looking to the left and the right. <laughs> the, the laughing minion. It just says like Mexican. Nine <laughs> eleven <laughs> was an inside job. <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> Jesus so, Christ! Speaking of nine eleven. Uh-oh. So good, so oh. great. <laughs> you proceed. Oh, is this where you talking no, about? I just wanted to say that. <laughs> oh, okay. I, uh, speaking I, I, of nine eleven, who, who here has seen the Charlie Sheen film nine eleven? Uh, I have not. What's the thing? I try to like honestly. No, there's not a Charlie Sheen themed movie called nine eleven, is there? Yes, there is. There, there's a hundred percent a movie called nine eleven about nine eleven that stars Charlie Sheen. That is a real film that exists. I, I know about that in fire, the real world. I know about that fucking fireman movie that Nicolas Cage is in that came out like a little bit after nine eleven. Man, if there's anyone that needs you know, I'm not gonna fed post. I'm not gonna fed post, not gonna fed post. Do not fed so people, post. People should be yelled at publicly for exploiting like nine eleven fears back in those days, man. Like the, you know, like the the fucking offices of Anheuser Busch should be like pelted with fucking sewage and just all sorts of manners of shit. Yeah, or, like, we should we should that... throw tomatoes at them. Is what we should do. See, you're throw saying you're like that, thing, I'm yeah. like, no, I'm talking about like doing like the farmers do in Europe. Rolling up on spots and just like depositing all of their ma- manure on their front and back fucking uh, doors. Is this a thing? So do people do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that happens every every so often when like uh, the EU or like uh, the individual countries will like basically pass some bullshit that negatively affects farmers. Farmers will like go get their riding crops uh, crops or uh, their manure. They'll roll up to like the office building that the the edict came from, and they'll dump their fucking manure in front of the office. And sometimes if they can reach it in the back of the fucking office too, did you know? So they can all just like smell shit for like fucking days. Did you know that they're trying to get Europeans to eat bugs? That's big. They're, they're they're trying to get everyone to eat bugs. That's fucking stupid. I will live in the pond. I will eat bugs. <laughs> no, you will not. I, I will be happy. I will own nothing. You will not know. You will own nothing, be unhappy, and eat shit. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Listen, I said this on Mo Diggity's Tick Stream, which I don't I don't think it's archived anywhere, so it will be lost to time at some point. Uh, no, it's archived and I downloaded it because it's a fucking banger of a fucking stream. Oh, yeah, I, that, up. I got I got a little unhinged on that stream, but it was pretty good. <laughs> Um, but just to just to make my position clear, as long as the pod you live in will put me in a virtual reality world where things are better, I will live it's, in the pod and eat the bugs, a hundred percent. I know nothing. It's not going to be. It, it's oh god. Just... Oh my god, you are so fucking stupid. I don't it's care. Just I don't care it's... about this fucking world we live in. If they could just fucking shove me in a pod and send my brain somewhere better, sure. Fucking nutrient me with bugs. Leave me in my fucking pod. I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It's just a shame that you think that way. Like, you think so little of yourself that you're not willing to put forth the. The extra effort to bear, you know, to make you gotta make your life better. Because, like I said on there, it's bad enough that you're sacrificing your freedom, but your your dignity and your uh, fucking self respect as well. You know, you guys have that. I haven't had that yes. in a long time. Yes, <laughs> I still have it. You lose it every once in a while, but you regain it. You know, I I, I haven't had self respect in roughly. Uh, let's see. 
uh, I'd say about five years would be the last time I maybe had some level of self-respect. You're Since barely birth. 20. I'm 21. So I'm, so, so I'm saying the last time I felt any modicum of self-respect was uh, age 16. Because uh, at least I was still um, taking a uh, fucking theater class. And that made my life worthwhile. Um, but now I'm you out of high school. Though? I'm working a shitty job. Um, and I hate my life. And if I could go live in a pod where life was better in a virtual world... 100%. But it's not. It's going to be yeah. shitty graphics. It's it's going to be like fucking. Uh, I don't care. It's I don't be care like if I'm VR... hanging out with a bunch of PS2 models. As Why long as you... that's it's fucking better. awful. Now you're really lowering the standards. And Why here's don't you the eat thing. the bugs now, Riley. I mean, to be honest, I might live in the pod if they could give me my boyfriend back. Yeah, they can send you to a virtual reality world where your boyfriend never stopped loving you, and it'd be great. It's I, you know, an what? AI voice though. Hello, you know, I love you. I don't care. I'm switching sides. You know what? Give me my fucking boyfriend back. Let's go. Pod boys. <laughs> pod bros. Disgusting. Black Mirror moment. <laughs> yeah, th- this is what freaks me out. Is like, I, I don't like, uh, like, I, I never really, uh, I-, I hate to say it, I was thinking about a million other conspiracy theories until I saw that Black Mirror episode. And that made me even more paranoid because I had never actually thought about that before. What Black How, like, Mirror episode? All right, so basically, uh, fast forward, fast forward. Uh, this person lives in a society where mm-hmm. everyone's augmented in their brain, and they, uh, uh, the government or police can uh, mess with uh, their augmented vision to make it to where you can't see them or they can't see you. Or if, like, say, you're a sex offender or something like that, they can uh, take your identity away, and all that's walking around is, like, a certain colored person, and that color would indicate the crime or the offense, and people will treat you different, deny you goods and services and stuff. It's a it's a real fucking totalitarian fucking society. Holy shit, <clears throat> that's so based. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. No, that's that's not awesome at all. Because the fucking the rules on it are are so loose, and the cops are just, you know, they're like gods in that type of society. They're not held to account or anything. Because uh, we got to uh, complain, they'll fucking turn you off. Hold on, Mo. Have you considered that blue lives matter? Blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. What does that have any uh, that bait response? What does that have anything to do with uh, this? Uh, I love police officers. I, I would like I would like to make it clear. I got my brain got messed up, and for some reason, it introduced the not present uh, caveat to this that the people who were turned a certain color um, were one hundred percent guilty of those crimes, rather than decreed being guilty of those crimes by corrupt police. Uh, so yeah, but clear, you can't I do prove not, that. I do not support this because of because of the reasons that Mo listed. Uh, yeah, when, I, yeah. when I said it was based, I was I was not thinking clearly. Kathy was being unironic. I was being no. That's uh, fine. Well, you don't have to virtue signal and fucking have everyone praise you for picking the correct side. You don't have to do that. No one needs I to just have to a make sure. Of... I just have to make sure. Oh, uh, yeah, my it's fine. Of... Uh, I'm I'm disappointed that Kathy would pick that side, but you know. I'm not okay with that. Like, I, I don't trust people with that amount of authority. That's just, that's too much power and uh, too little reasons to trust you other than, well, I'm the one that got picked to, you know, to yield this power, to wield this power. Because uh, my- we don't we don't pick these people to become cops or anything. They just, they pass courses and get hired on. That's that's what they do, you know? Yeah, it's I'm true. Not, I'm, not, I'm just not into it. All right. Uh Anyone else got anything uh, they want to talk about? No, it kind of uh, feels like the only thing that's happened the past two weeks is a fucking submarine. That so, goddamn I mean, yeah. fucking submarine. <laughs> uh, the, the the submarine and that fucking failed stupid ass coup attempt. Oh yeah, the, the in, in, in Russia. Because yeah. dude, like that that first uh, Kathy left. Fuck. Uh, the, I've that never first, heard about like, this 24, coup. Yeah, the first twenty four hours of it, it was like some badass shit. Like oh fuck. Some mercenaries got pissed off basically at Vladimir Putin and were wanting to know, hey, you know, a lot of our people are dying on my side, on this private military contractor fucking side. We're wanting to know why we're dying and you haven't finished this fucking war yet. 
because allegedly, according to this person, uh, Yevgeny, who's uh, the the founder of Wagner, the PMC group. They yeah. say that they've been in a position to to get done with this war for a long fucking time, and the generals are just being too stubborn and are, are just they don't care. You know, they they're just arguing with each other because they're here for glory. Because who's the general that takes them fucking down? And so he took like a, a fucking cadre, a fucking uh a little group of his fucking soldiers, right? And they marched on, on fucking... They were about to march on fucking Moscow. They took one city without fucking firing a shot or anything like that. Rolled up and uh, met with a couple of people from the Russian government going, Hey, listen, don't mean to freak y'all out, but uh, we're dying for absolutely nothing. So if you can go ahead and finish this war or fulfill our contract or something, we'll, we'll it'll be on our way. If they don't, though, we're taking the fucking we're, we're taking Moscow, and we're going to overthrow the fucking government. And that's, they're like, that's, that's base. That's king shit, right? Uh, yeah, that, that's that's some some big dick shit. Some big dick shit there. Because, like, and I guess I not that I, not that I want Russia. Russia, that's not the place. Not that I want Russia to win the war, but it almost pisses me off more to hear that there's this there's this fucking cockamamie dick measuring contest between generals, which I guess. It's a good thing if they're if they're not fucking murdering Ukraine because of it. But it's just it's just farcical that that's what's going that the fucking Russian generals can't agree on who gets to fucking make the final strike and they're just having a big dick measuring contest over it and people are fucking dying as they're like no I want to do it. No I want to do it. That's just like it's oh my I god. Mean, th- there's there's a ton more stuff of course a ton of other factors besides that just that cuz the Russians have been dealt some like serious losses in areas where they should have won easily because of like miscommunication between like generals, their people, and the people on the front lines and all that. Like the whole war is a clusterfuck, right? Like it's a clusterfuck. It, it's a clusterfuck on both sides. But right now, with this uh, huge international embarrassment to Russia. Bay, uh, and also, uh, so fast forward to TLDR, uh, he threatened to fucking take down Moscow. Uh, Putin was all, you're a fucking traitor, I'll have your fucking head for this. The Belarusian president argued for uh, uh, Yevgeny's freedom on his behalf. Putin agreed, said fine. Your people who didn't, you know, were, were uh, granted amnesty to all the soldiers that marched with you. And to the rest of the soldiers that didn't march with you, we're absorbing them into our uh, Russian-style Ministry of Defense. Basically, they're now Russian military and and all that. So, oh, and uh, Yevgeny is exiled to Belarus. But uh, a lot of of interesting conspiracy theories are coming up because they're saying it's a CIA op, but... Not anyone from my favorite conspiracy sources have even come up with a conspiracy theory on that yet. So that makes me wonder if the conspiracy theorists aren't the ones screaming CIA, then these fucking kind of normies who are screaming CIA, maybe the fucking, maybe the veil is sort of lifted on our alphabet organizations. I really hope so too, because there's a lot, there's a lot of these organizations that need to go the fuck down. Fair and true. There, I spared us all a few moments of how talking about that fucking submarine. <laughs> Listen, all yeah. I will say, all I will say about that stupid fucking submarine is I feel bad for the teenager that was on there uh, because you know, yeah, he, pretty much. He didn't even want to go on the. Did you guys hear about that? He was like, yeah, he was. His bullied. father guilted him into getting on that submarine as a Father's Day gift. Like, like come that's, on, that's awful. But like. Fuck all the rich people. Like, I don't give a shit about them. (laughs) And and the stupid bastard ignored many safety uh, warnings from from his uh, crew. Uh, He uh, fired some and sued somebody because he was a fucking safety whistleblower some months ago. Um, Oh, and get this, right? Uh, 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 I guess get this since I'm hyping it up now. Uh, Fucking James Cameron, the fucking director for Avatar... Uh, this, and this, and, and a, more more relevantly to this Titanic, 
Yeah, and, and, and to Titanic also. <laughs> he's a deep sea diver. He dives in submarines and shit. Like the South Park joke was actually accurate. Uh, he fucking explores the fucking ocean floor and shit. And so he's in the right, uh, the right circles to be kept in the loop about this situation. Apparently, these fucking people died uh, Monday, an hour and a half after they disembarked and uh, or debarked or whatever from their ship. Because about an hour, hour and a half, the ship detected a loud crunching noise in their vicinity and lost radio contact. So these motherfuckers have been dead since Monday. James Cameron knew about it. Our government knew about it. But they still sent everyone on a fucking wild goose chase anyway. Well, yeah, because, you know, there's a chance that the noise could have been something else. Well, you gotta, they, you gotta at least give the rescue. You can't just not send anyone. Because well, it could you can have send, been something else. Well, you can send some people, but, like, the world fucking pulled all the stops on this. And yet the people on the coast of fucking Greece, they're fucking, there was, like, a, a boat with, like, I think... I think like a hundred or so immigrants on there, probably a little bit more, because their their boat capsized in international waters, and their fucking the Greek Coast Guard, their equivalent to the Coast Guard, saw this and said, "Well, they're in international waters. There's nothing we can really do about it." And only like went over there to help them when they were sw- uh, swimming d- uh, to their imaginary fucking border in the ocean. So they they did everything they could legally. To fucking save those fucking people. And, you know, it just shows, it goes to show you that the world will move mountains for, you know, the ultra rich, and the rest of us are just fucking peasants, man. Well, did we have to go into foreign waters to try to. Yeah, because, you know, because fucking morality instead of legality should have been like a the bigger factor here. Because we're not supposed to be in international waters because the Coast Guard said, uh, we, we did everything that we were legally allowed to do. Like, you know, you you could have just broke the law and just lied about it, and no one would have ratted you out. I, I asked if the submarine was in international waters. No, I mean, I don't know. You uh, made, actually, you actually the, no, I don't know. You made the comparison as if... Well, no, like, the, the whole world fucking, like, uh, uh, pulled out all the stops to find this fucking submarine, right? But, like, the fucking Greek Coast Guard couldn't give two shits until they were legally uh, obligated to be to do so until that. And they watched these fucking people fucking drown not too far from them, right? And so, like, this, uh, uh this, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of praying for that meteor again. L- let me, let me fucking tell you. Like, oh, this, this, this world fucking sucks. Are you, are you playing the bongos over there, Robin? Me? Yeah, I hear boom. Like you're like tapping on an empty tin can or something. Oh no. Oh. I have no idea what you're talking about, Modigity. What? <laughs> well, no, like we're talking out here is boom, boom. And it sounds kind of like a bo- uh, almost like a bongo drum or like uh, like tapping on a tin can, like a hollow tin can. You didn't mm. hear that? Like I see, I, I, I saw Robin's icon uh, lighting up periodically. Oh, interesting. I didn't hear it. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's, He's going that's... senile, folks. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going see. I'm not going senile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I that's what I was fucking uh, wigging out about. And I, I, I talked some shit about that too. It's like all of you were like, uh, "This is before we really knew everything about the uh, incident." I, I called a lot of people. I was like, "You guys only give a shit because you want to bag on fucking like billionaires and." Hashtag kill and eat the rich, blah, blah, blah. But you guys are such internet fucking activists, and I fucking hated that. And then later on, like a few days later, all the actual news reports about those migrants off the Greek coast start, like, pouring in, and specifics were uh, uh, being given. And then after that, the fucking Russia thing happened. It was like, fucking sub submarine what? Oh man, what a fucking cock tease. I, I was really, really looking forward to like a good fucking first world government overthrowing fucking coup. You know, I, I was really rooting for that. Because we need some excitement. Anywho, um, I pretty much said everything I have to say. Do any of you guys have anything you want to say? Any last thoughts or anything? 
Hello. Oh, go um, no, go watch and support Smosh. Those are my final thoughts. Okay. All right, Robin, any last words for you? Uh, no, I think I'm all set. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay, Riley, where can they find you at? What are you chuckling about? You little goober. Well, everyone looks like they're falling asleep all of a sudden here and like a I don't know, just it's kinda of funny. I thought y'all were just fucking with me. Oh yeah. Second. Uh so you can find me in either the description or on my Twitter at Riley Tweets on the pin tweet, you can find a link tree. That's linktr.ee slash Riley Cinematic Universe. There's links to all the dumb shit that I do on the internet. Uh, it's all pretty cool. And you should check it out and tell your friends about how cool it is. Hooray! And Robin, what about you? Uh, you can find me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Robin Violet. All right. And you can all find me at MSGOfficialYT at uh, Twitter.com. And I uh, got links to all my stuff on there. Go check it out. All right. Until next time. Take care, everyone. Ta ta. Bye. Bye. Oh, I didn't know if you were going to go for it. <laughs> Suckers. Thank you.